And gentlemen, look at this. This is filled with cheese. It's a pastry. Hot from the oven. Delish. Cover this naturey part of the island on our bikes. Here's my bike, and there's a peninsula on this island, and of island, I mean this land, and it's a whole nature area. And there's there are a lot of beautiful beaches there, so we're heading there now to see how it is. Stop to share this view with you. Look at these. These are all pine trees, and we're biking out towards the park. And the smell is amazing. If you're from the Caribbean, maybe you know this cleaning thing called pine salt. Yo, it smells like it. Look at it. Gorgeous. Let me turn the camera. Right about now, we're at this beach bar, ready to have lunch, or late lunch. Um, we were biking, but we weren't supposed to bike on certain roads, we didn't see the signs. So when we reached this mountain top, need ma nah, no, not a mountain top, but uh, this hill, we've seen the signs again, and then we decided to stop at a, at a beach, and this was it, it was delicious. Cheers! I'm sitting here at this bar where they're gonna play live music in a bit and I ordered grappa pear grappa and that's like a like a spirit that they have here in the region and I tasted it and it tastes so strong I think I'm gonna order a sprite or something to <laughs> tone it down because it's, it's heavy cheers and a count of three one, two, three. <laughs> Okay, 
it's dinner time and I'm having, I'm sorry about my entree and this one is a um, shrimp risotto. Looking forward to it. And now it's time for my main dish. Take a look. I'm having the tuna filet with some fries, new fries, <laughs> and a gin and tonic with grapefruit. So now it's time for breakfast. We're heading towards this um, bus. We're going to the waterfalls today. And we walk past this store who sells, um, which sells very cheap pastries and stuff. And we bought about seven to eight pieces for less than five euros. It's pretty cool. And it seems delicious. I hope I pronounce it well. The Krika waterfall in Split. It's not in Split, but it's about one and a half hour drive from Split. And it's a park filled with lots, tons of waterfalls. And today I'm going to show you a bit of how the place is. Take a look. You're wondering what's making that sound. It's that thing. Wait. Let me see if I can find it. Cicada. A cicada. Where is it? I can't find it. Wait. There it is. That thing. Or is it a leaf? Wait. I hope you can see it though. Now I'm swimming in the Kirka Lake from the Kirka Waterfall and our tour guide told us that this is the last season that people are allowed to swim here. I think it has to do with the nature and the conservation of this beautiful piece of nature. Also, what do you think? Is this salt water or sweet water? It is sweet water. So cool to swim in a sweet water lake. No swimming pool but all nature. Take a look. about 50,000 inhabitants. A small uh, little fact about this place is that it is the first city in Europe, I think Europe, maybe the world even, that has um, alternative or alternate electricity. And I mean, it's gorgeous. I'm here at the fort on top of the whole place, the whole village. It was gorgeous, take a look. Pizza box. It's so big. I don't think you can see how big it is. Look at this. Huge. Huge. So this is our last night in Split, the last night in Croatia. And I have to tell you that Croatia was one oh, was on my list forever. And I'm very happy I got to come here. And I mean for the last night. It deserves a cheer. So while we're enjoying this view, I'm gonna enjoy this beer. 
You take care. If you need any tips on Croatia, call at me and let me know. Take care. Cheers. <laughs>